let me start with um, going through some of the homework exercises. Uh, let's see. I asked you folks to, um, for, ex for, for working with files, to write a short script to write a file and then another short script to read that file back in. So um, here's an example of, of, of uh, so I wanted information like this in the file and then I wanted to print out the file in a format like that. So how do we put the stuff in the file? Well, here's, there's lots of ways to do it, but here's a very simple script and it's got the boilerplate I would recommend having, which is to um, have a, you, you can't get away without an open statement. So here we open the file for writing. It doesn't matter if the file exists or not. Um, it will create it. It will overwrite it if it exists. And then we have three write statements that call the write routine associated with the file that we've opened. And they include a backslash n to, um, f to, to force the file output out. And then finally, we close it. Um, to read the file, um, it takes a few more lines of code, but it's also really simple. Um, I define you don't you could put this in a you you could put this into a um, in, in directly into the open, but I want to keep this around as a variable. So here's the name of the file. I open the file. I then print out a statement where I concatenate the string file, the name of the file, and the contents. So I get that line right there. And then I loop over the file and include a counter. And here I have, um, um, I print out the line number and the contents of the line. That's all, that's all it takes. So if you run this script, you'll get that. Okay. Uh, other bit of homework that I gave um, in this in the same in the same lecture was a little bit on error handling on ca on catching errors. So um, I asked you to write a. Um, you may want to question my sanity, but I asked you to write a short script that divides ten by each of these values. And if there's no error, print out the result. If there is a division by zero, print out divide by zero. And if you try to divide by a string, print out you cannot do that. Okay, so this is sort of a process. First thing I did was to write a very short script that does everything without the error handling. So then I can see what's going on. So I write this short script for val in this. And then I do the division, 10 divided by the value here. And then I print it. So this hums along fine in the beginning. 10 divided by 10 is 1.0. 10 divided by 5 is 2.0. And then I get an error. I get a zero division error. So that gives me a hint that I need to handle zero division errors in my code. So let's go back and add that to the routine. So now I put it in a try statement. Try um, except, if I get this exception, print something out. Else, if I don't get an exception, do this. So now this does, does what I did before, prints out the division, the division. Otherwise, I get, and now I get divide by zero error, but now I get yet another error when I try to divide 10 by the string zero. And so I handle that by putting in a, another clause in the accept for type error. Okay, so here I have the accept type error as well as the accept zero division error. And um, now I get this. And I went a little bit further and I actually capture a little bit of information from the error so that I could know what the problem was. But that you get the idea. Okay, so that um, answers that homework question. 